Hey friends, in last week's video, I showed you how to do crochet box braids from start to finish. In this video, I'm showing you how to do jumbo box braids from scratch. I'm going to show you two sure proof, easy techniques that'll help you to get a nice, firm foundation each and every time. Not only is doing your own hair affordable and cost effective, but you can save upward of like $100 braiding your own hair. I had so much fun filming this video and I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. Hair so soft, silky, and free. I want something just for me. So let's jump right into the products. Today I'm going to be using Swaggoo Edge Control Gel by The Dew, which is a black owned company. I'm going to be cocktailing that with Murray's Black Beeswax. And last week you saw me use the beeswax, but I decided to do a different edge control this time. And I'm going to be using LK Naturals Essential 17 Growth Oil. For the braiding hair, I'm going to be using Expressions Premium in the shade 1B. Now we're going to jump into the sections and parting portion of the video. So always starting at the nape, I'm going to clip away the top half of my hair, just doing like a rough draft. And now what you see me doing is going in and cleaning up the parting. Again, I'm not using any mirrors, guys. I'm literally using the monitor for my camera. So that's why you see me looking to the corner of my eye. So before we start braiding, I just want to show you guys an accurate length of the hair. And so I'm going to stand on up and you can see it comes down to my tailbone. So now it's time to braid. So the first technique, you're going to be using the braiding hair as the two sides and your hair is going to serve as the third anchor in the braid. The first thing you want to do is kind of twist the braiding hair in the center because that is going to create a nice, firm, sturdy base for your braid. Get it nice and tight, not too tight, but nice and snug. And then you're just gonna start braiding down. This method is a bit advanced because what's gonna happen as you see right now is I'm going to have to start pulling little pieces, little pinches of hair from the braiding hair, like right here, and adding that to my hair. And then I'm gonna braid it down. It's not a hard process. The second process, again, may be easier for you guys. If you don't mind like adding hair in, I know for a lot of people adding hair to their braid is a bit confusing and it's harder to do. But if you're comfortable with this method, I think it gets it nice and firm. And as you see right here, I'm just adding a little bit of edge control just to make sure that my hair is blending in with the braiding hair. So then you're going to just braid it all the way down to the end, leaving about two or three inches of hair at the end of the braid, which you will dip towards the end of the process. And this is the braid. The second technique, you are going to separate your braiding hair into two pieces. So once you separate it into two pieces, you're going to kind of interlock it at the root and base area. So two of the four pieces are going to be one piece two piece and then the other two are going to be put together and equal the third piece i hope that makes sense and what you're going to do is add your hair to one of the pieces either the first the second or the third and just start braiding down this technique is great for people that don't want to do the whole adding hair as they go along method this one is a little bit better for beginners you don't have to worry about pinching hair off to fill in your hair as you go down all right, so now I'm about halfway through my head and I realized that I had a bunch of colored braiding hair left over from my festival inspired natural hair tutorial. If you haven't checked it out, it's super cute. Make sure you go and do that girl. And I just want to add a little bit of pop of color. I put these braids in because I was going on vacation, but I am getting a little up there in age. You know, I'm not Nana yet, but I do believe in age appropriateness. So, you know, just a little something, something to keep it young and fun, but nothing that's like, girl, you need to grow up. And I only did two braids and this is what it looks like. So now we're down to the last braid. I started around four in the afternoon. I didn't finish until about four in the morning. Usually when I do clients, it takes about maybe like four or five hours. But again, I didn't use a mirror. I only use my monitor from my camera and I kept taking breaks. I started at season one of Living Single. By the time I was done, it was like season three. I got on the phone, was running my mouth, ran to the store. So I think I did a pretty good job for my first time. Of course, I think my parting and things could be a lot better. But again, not using a mirror. I think I did pretty okay. What y'all think? 
So now it's time to dip those ends. So I, again, it was four in the morning, child. I was tired at this point. So I didn't feel like boiling water. I just used a plastic bowl. I filled it up with water, put it in the microwave until it started boiling. So about mm, four or five minutes. So what you want to do is just dip your ends into the water, lift them up, dip them again, lift them up, and then towel dry them. All right, and this is the final look. All things considered, I think they came out really well. I got lots of compliments on them. I also got some new clients from people that saw them. And I was able to trim up the little stray hairs and razor the ends, but I did that the next morning after I got some sleep. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, or anything that I can explain a little bit better, please leave it down in the comment section below. If you found this helpful, be sure to thumbs it up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and God willing, I will see you in my next video. Stay tuned because I'm posting my vacation vlog, and it is so cute and so hilarious, and you don't want to miss it.